Come in! Come in! Come in, Pastor Greg! Come in! Hey! Come in out of the hot weather! Good, Granny! I am so glad you decided to, to have, yeah, have us come inside today. It, it is so is hot too out there. Hot. I'm, telling I'm you, just, it's just exhausted. Here, take yeah. something cold. Put your oh, thank you oh. so much. I can't get the lid off. There we go. It? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate Welcome. that so much. Yeah, yeah, it's just too hot out there. Oh gosh, yeah, it is. That's that's not really safe to be outside today, is this it? This is dangerous weather. It's over what a hundred degrees right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and well, my poor garden is burning up, just burning up, and it just sucks up water like a sponge. And you know, we have to be careful and stay hydrated, be full of water. And um, I know a lot of people don't like to drink water, but we need to because if we get overheated, it can make us sick. Yeah, that's you know? right. So anyway, well, listen, I'm so glad you're here. Um, let me get my glasses on. We are on day three of Castorville Zion Lutheran Church Vacation Bible School. Virtual Vacation but, yeah. Bible School, yes. You know, yeah, um, I know you kids can see us, but we can't see you. But I know you're out there. Yes, we do. <laughs> and we love you. So welcome to day three of Vacation Bible School. Um, we're going to talk about bugs for the next couple bugs. of days. Oh. Yeah. Are you scared of bugs? No. Well, not really. No. I even like Tra the big old tarantulas. Though. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Are you telling the truth, Pastor? They eat flies and mosquitoes. Tra yes, they do. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, That's okay. too bad for me. Okay. I understand. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about a bug today. Okay. Oh, um, this is a ladybug. Okay. okay. You need to show that to the Isn't that pretty? Yeah, look at that. Children, this is a ladybug. In my garden, sometimes bad bugs eat my plants, aphids and mealybugs and mice. But this bug is a good bug. It doesn't chew your plants up. It eats the bugs that eat your plants. And it's called a ladybug. And I think it's, she's just beautiful. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, it really and, is. You know, and, you know, uh, so, and it looks so, so calm and, you know, yeah. and friendly. I, well, I think she's beautiful. She's got polka dots. She's got polka dots on her. Yeah. I'll just that right there. Yeah. Um, so what happens, these aphids and mealybugs and mites, they come and they eat your plants. They suck the juices out. Oh, wow. And they can kill your plant. The plant will die. And um, you could take, you know, I could go to True Value or wherever and buy some poison and spray it. Yeah. But I don't like to do that. Yeah. I don't like to use chemicals yeah. and poisons. So, <clears throat> if you see a ladybug in the garden, welcome ladybug. And I was even, recent, when I got the picture off the internet, you can buy ladybugs and they'll come in boxes. Oh wow. Boxes full of, and you just let them out on your plants and they'll go in and they'll eat the bad bugs. And I read that the ladybug needs, um, yeah, th this is how she eats. This is what gives her life, you know. And uh, she doesn't eat green things. She just eats bugs. And so she's helpful. She's useful in the garden. And I welcome her. I just think she's beautiful. But, you know, um, the Bible says a lot about us being kind and helpful and useful, too, That's right? right, yes. In fact, in Galatians 5, I got, now, children, remember what this book is. This is the true word, word of God. Of God. Yes. <laughs> this is the biggest Bible I've ever seen. <laughs> I told your wife, Alicia, because we wanted to start using the King James in our morning devotions. Uh -huh. So she found me this Bible. It weighs 3.2 pounds. It is big. <laughs> anyway, I love it. Okay. Galatians 5, verse 13. It says, through love, serve one another. Service. Yes. Serving one Serve another. one another. Gosh, what a Not wonderful way if, to get to know people. You know, and, and Jesus, yeah. I, Pastor, I love, I, the la Jesus said a lot of things before he went to, the, to heaven. But one of the, he says, love one another. Yeah. And if you love one another, the world will know that you're my followers. Yes. Because we're not supposed to live like the world. No. Selfish and mean and, mm -hmm. and gripey and, and just, we don't live like the world. We love one another and we serve one another. What an awesome lesson that yeah, is. And you know, Jesus did this. He didn't go around looking for good stuff for himself. He helped, he healed the sick, the blind, lepers. 
He even raised two people from the dead. That's right. And uh, he was, he, you know, and we need to live lives like Jesus our Lord. And um, so I was trying to think of some ways that children, you children be thinking, what ways could you serve others? Could you be helpful and kind? You know, when I was a little boy, I would, my friend who lived about a block away from me, mm -hmm. and I, we would swap off going to each other's house. Mm -hmm. And one thing we made sure of that we, when we did this so that we didn't wear out our welcome there mm -hmm. is that we not only picked up what we brought and packed it up to take it back, but we helped them to clean up their room too before oh. they went back. And then they would yeah. do the same thing. That was yeah. my good friend, Billy Friedrich. Yeah, yeah, back in Austin, Texas. Oh, and that And we would always do that. So that, that's how I learned I you know, to serve. I bet that boy's mama liked you, too. Yes, yes, she <laughs> <you> did. did. <laughs> well, you know, I was just thinking, uh, <clears throat> I remember as a mother of four boys, I was always saying, pick up your toys, pick up your toys. It's like toys were everywhere. So children, you know, without mama having to fuss at you, just keep your toys, play with them. When you finish, put them back in the toy box. Um, you older ones might make up your bed, but the little ones would be too short to make up the bed. Yeah. But they might could go pick up the newspaper yes. in the front yard or get the mail out of a mailbox. Yeah. Um, uh, That's one thing Mom wanted us to do, too, is make our beds. Yeah, that, uh, it's just, um, moms we, have a lot of work to do in the yes, house. Yes, they do. Cooking, cleaning, washing, and the least that you children can do is to help Mom. And by doing that, you'll be filling one of those commandments, you know, those ten rules. It says, Love your mom and dad, honor right. them, obey them. Honor, obey them, and I'm sure there's many other things. You guys are real smart. You think of good, kind, and tender things to do. Just yes. be like this ladybug. Be helpful, okay? So, Pastor Greg, would you like to play a, pray a blessing over the children? And Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Dear Jesus, we're just so happy that you came to earth and you, you mm -hmm. served us and you mm -hmm. forgave us of our sins. Help us to be helpful to others. Let's help us to serve others just mm -hmm. as you came to serve us. Amen. Amen. And do it out of thanks for everything that mm -hmm. you've done mm -hmm. for us. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, boys and girls, tomorrow we will see you again, and it'll be day four. four. Are y'all having a good time at Bible school? Yeah. I'm going to tell you again. I, when I was a little girl, I fell in love with Jesus at vacation Bible school. And for 66 years... I have been a Christian. Wonderful. I, I, the other day when you had your 66th birthday, yes. I thought, oh, 66 years I've wow. been a Christ follower. Wow. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Children, God bless. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.